Tony Hilliard. Today we're going to show you how to refit core plugs in an engine block. As you probably know, most engine blocks, certainly for old cars, are cast in sand. First the pattern is made, usually made up of several parts, then a mould is made in sand using the pattern, the pattern is removed, and then molten metal, usually iron or aluminium, is poured into the mould. Afterwards, the mould is cleaned out, the casting is cleaned out, and all the little gaps in between the casting, where the sand has managed to stay, usually washed out, shaken out, and where the holes are for that, a plug is put in, and that's called a core plug. If your vehicle is subjected to very low temperatures and it hasn't got antifreeze in it, it's possible that the water in the water jacket will try to expand. And when it does that, if it can't find a way out, it will crack the block. Expensive repair. So what happens, hopefully, if the engine block is subjected to very low temperatures, as the ice forms inside, one of the core plugs will pop out. Well, this particular engine I've got here is a Simca 5 or Simca Sank. Uh, it's exactly the same as a Fiat Topolino. Pre-war car, uh, a Series A, the one with the short chassis. Well, this, this particular car I bought in the south of France I could see that two core plugs had popped out, obviously have been subjected to low temperatures. When I put those core plugs back in, I thought perhaps if I'm lucky, the block is not cracked, the water will stay in there. Needless to say, it didn't. There was some water coming out of the back. So I popped the engine out, had a look, and in total, four core plugs had popped out. I'm very relieved because core plugs are very easy to put back in. Repairing a frozen, cracked, iron block is not so funny. So let's see how we get on. These are called dish core plugs. The more modern ones are called cup core plugs. Uh, as you can see, they're shaped like a dish. The general idea is they fit inside a nice neat fit and you compress the center. Uh, that will make it grip. I, I bought this uh, selection on eBay. Where your car was made, whether it's made with imperial measurements or with metric measurements, very important. These are the two core plugs, that, as mentioned, that I replaced while the uh, engine was in the car. This is the, where the core plug at the back of the engine is. I cleaned it out with a rotary wire brush on an electric drill, just to get rid of all the rust and crud. Now I'm wiping it out with some alcohol, because we want to make sure it's completely grease-free, because we're going to use a gasket cement as we put the new core plug in. When new in the factory, where they put the core plugs in after they've finished the castings, I don't believe they use gasket cement. Uh, with the corrosion over the years, to get a nice fit, there's nothing more frustrating than you put a new core plug in, fill it up with water, and you get a tiny little rusty water leak. So it's worth putting the gasket cement in. Now the core plug should be a very nice fit. General idea is you put it in, dome outwards, tap it into place, make with the hammer really well seated in the back and then you want to use a, a drift as large as possible compared with the core plug and the general idea is you want to flatten the center and that'll push the edges of the core plug and grip inside the casting. Now we want to wipe away the gasket cement. Again, use the alcohol, make it look nice and tidy. Now we do the little one again. Clean out the, the hole in the block with uh, the white rotary wire brush. Degrease it, put your gasket cement in. This one was a little bit tight for the core plug. I had to clean the core plug out, the actual core plug, a little bit around the edges to make it a snug fit. Then when you're ready, Pop the, the core plug in place. Gently does it. Again, dome outwards. Just tap it in so it seats nicely. As far in as it will go, gently, gently. Tap it with a, a smaller drift. Again, the right size drift for the size of the core plug. And then you want to give it a couple of sharp taps in the center to spread the edges out to make it grip inside the casting.
Again, clean it off with some alcohol or degreaser and you're done. It's as simple as that. Not a difficult at all. I hope you found that helpful. Until next time, cheerio.